Hello class, I am Jasmine and I welcome you to my SST class. Today I am going to start class 7th history. Before this we have learnt class 6th history. Class 6th history is called ancient history and class 7th history is called medieval history. In class 8th you will learn modern history. Actually two maps were made. First one was made by Arab geographer Al Idrisi. This gave the detailed study of subcontinent of India. It was made in 1154 CE. The second map was made in 1720 by French cartographer. Who is cartographer? Cartographer is a person who makes maps. These two maps were quite different from each other. So these two maps were of same area but Al Idris's map was showing Sri Lanka in North India but actually it is in South India whereas French cartographer's map was quite similar to the present map of India. This map was used by European sailors and merchants during their journey. New and old terminology. What is terminology? It means when over the time many terms changes. For example, the word Hindustan. Today we understand this as India, the modern nation state. But in 13th century, it was used differently by Minhazi Siraz, a chronicler who wrote in Persian. He meant this, the area of Punjab, Haryana and lands between Ganga and Yamuna. He used this in political sense. Babur, who came to India, a Muslim ruler, he meant Hindustan to the inhabitants of the subcontinent. Amir Khosrow used this, the word Hind for Hindustan. Similarly, the next term which we see in this book, the word foreigner. It means, according to today, foreigner means one who does not belong to India. But in olden days, it was meant for the person who belonged to the other state or to the other village. In medieval period, foreigner was any stranger who does not belong to a particular village. In Hindi, we can say a Pardesi or in Persian, it is called Ajnavi. Historians and their sources. What are historians? Historians are those who learn about the past. They use different types of sources to learn about the past. For example, they depend on the coins, inscriptions, architecture and textual records for information. Through this period, paper gradually became cheaper and many people started using them. People used it for writing holy books, chronicles of rulers, letters and teachings of saints, petitions and judicial records. Manuscripts were collected by wealthy people, rulers, monasteries and temples. They were placed in a library and archives. What is archives? It means a place where the manuscripts and documents are kept. There were no printing areas, no printing press, so scribes were hired to copy the manuscripts by hand. As the scribes copied manuscripts, they also introduced some changes while writing because sometime when they, write, they were writing, they could not understand what the other had written. So what they did, they according to their understanding, they changed the word and sentences. And these changes gradually copied by other scribes and was carried for centuries. As a result, many of the manuscripts were different from one another. So the historians, what they had to do, they had to read different different manuscripts to understand the original text which was written earlier. In the 14th century, chronicler Ziauddin Birani wrote his chronicler first in 1356 and another version after two years. But when the historians uh, studied this, they found both the texts were different from each other. Students, that's all for today. I request you to go through the chapter and 
read the chapter carefully and underline all the important points as I have done in my textbook. So do it yourself. Thank you.